it, it shows the goodwill of conservatives because they say, well, you know, the ad is saying we shouldn't be bullies and we shouldn't be mean and uh, abusive. And oh, yeah, right. Uh, what it's actually saying is that masculinity is toxic. This is on the heels of the American Psychological Association saying that traditional masculinity, you know, as opposed to that newfangled masculinity in the onesie pajamas with the teacup, is uh, harmful to people. And you don't see it on the other side. If I made a, uh, a commercial about how women need to do better, women have been so bad for so long and they need to do better, I would be run out of town on a rail. And the other side of this is obviously, as you make a great point, there is a big distinction here between Harvey Weinstein, uh, you know, forcing himself on women and leching for decades and ruining people's careers because they won't sleep with him and boys wrestling with each other. Little boys like to roughhouse. That, every little boy for all of human history has liked to roughhouse. And what this agenda is doing, this left wing commercial is it's trying to purport to be compassionate there's nothing compassionate about this we now have a generation of people the millennial generation my own generation which was raised in the age of the self-esteem movement and of uh, anti-bullying all the time no bullying and helicopter parents and being sheltered from everything both experientially and academically and what has happened we have the most miserable generation in modern history millennials are much more anxious much more stressed much more clinically depressed, much more likely to be hooked on depression drugs, much more likely to attempt suicide than other generations. There was a study that came out of ASU. It showed that a quarter of American college students are suffering PTSD because a Republican won the 2016 election. If we raise a generation as coddled little buttercups, they're going to encounter reality and they're going to crack. They're going to be too fragile yeah. to withstand it. There's nothing compassionate about it. Uh, the only thing that we can get out of this Gillette ad uh, that I think is a good thing is we can laugh at the absurd leftism of corporate America. Yeah. You know, it's important not to let the get left get away with saying Harvey Weinstein was toxic masculinity because Harvey Weinstein calls himself a feminist to this day. In fact, his first gambit when he was caught was to say, oh, I'm going to rededicate myself to my mother's memory and I'm going to put a lot of money into anti-violence and I'm a Like, he said he was a feminist. Bill Clinton said he was a feminist. Uh, Teddy Kennedy said he was a feminist. They were all using male feminism as a preemptive excuse or a confuser for their private uh, conduct, which was... This is... And, and, and right. I would put it to you, and even Terry Crews, who was the black actor there, who said men have to tell men to do... He was groped by a Hollywood agent, a, ma a male. So this is a Hollywood feminism problem, not a real working collar, blue collar guy problem. That's a feminist well, that's problem. What Gillette and what the APA are now saying is that masculinity is toxic, that manliness is a vice and we need to root it out. But of course, manliness is a virtue. Manliness is such a virtue that the word virtue actually comes from the word for manliness. It comes from the Latin word vir, which means man. Th th these are good virtues. Now, all the virtues can be perverted into vices. But let me tell you something. When the enemies are storming the beaches, You'd better hope that you've got manly men in your country yeah. to protect you. When uh, people are being victimized, women especially are being victimized, you'd better hope there are manly, courageous men to protect you. I always joke about those male feminists, that they're the creepiest people on the face of the earth, and how they always they use these ideologies of feminism and leftism to uh, pursue rampant self-interest. They say, oh, honey, I'm a feminist. We don't need all that patriarchy of going out on dates or yeah. getting married. Married. Let's just go back and Netflix flicks and chill, baby. I'm really progressive. It's outrageous. And this is another aspect, by the way, of this commercial for those defending it among the conservatives. It is just pure leftism, even in the racism of the commercial. Yeah. In the commercial, the first part of it, with one exception, all of the bad guys who are bullying and doing all those things, all of them, maybe 50, 60 guys, are white guys. And in the uh, second part, when it's all the good men being good guys, it's virtually all non-white men uh, going up and stopping white men from doing bad things. That is a racist trope that shows you that this isn't just about stopping bullying. This is about pushing a leftist agenda with 
all of the ideologies that come along with that. Yeah. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest and then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at therebel.media slash shows.